What's good, everybody? I'm using this video right here to get out all my frustrations with boxing. I'm not trying to be negative. I love the sport. But this shit needs to be said because I'm noticing that there's a lot of bullshit happening in boxing. I mean, you got motherfuckers taking dives. You got people giving up in fights. You got fights ending on headbutts. You got gift decisions being handed out. There's a lot of bullshit going on, man. I mean, let me give you some examples, man. Like, look at that David Hay and Harrison shit where the motherfucker said now and then took a dive. You know, it's just shit like that makes the sport look bad. You know, and even that knockout for Sergio Martinez last weekend, even that shit was a little, ah, uh, you know, like I didn't know about that one. I, that didn't look right to me. I don't know. I, that was just me. It just didn't look right to me. There's just a lot of weird shit going on in boxing right now. And we need to make some changes because boxing can die if we don't do something about it. I think that there's a lot of great up-and-coming fighters, and we can definitely uh, keep this shit alive. But there's things that has to be changed, man. We have to switch out some of these motherfuckers at the top because they're doing a shitty job. I mean, I have to come on YouTube to hear anything about boxing. I can't put on ESPN and guaranteed to hear anything about boxing at all. Uh, I don't hear about it on the news. I hear about every other sport. I mean, golf, the most boring sport in the world to me, gets more coverage than boxing. And that's because of the motherfuckers at, top, at the top. They're not doing their job. You know, HBO, they do a good job of 24-7, but outside of that, they do a pretty crappy job, too. They do a crappy job, man. They need to bring back the countdown. I remember they used to have the half-hour countdown. They need to bring that shit back. They used to put it on a week before the fight or something like that. They took that shit away. They're not putting enough attention into the sport. And another thing that I can't stand that we do in boxing is we wait forever to make a goddamn match happen, man. And we always end up fucking it up sometimes. Sometimes we end up fucking it up. Most of the time, I would say, lately. I mean, look at uh, Gamboa versus uh, Juanma Lopez. I, I kept saying a couple of years ago, they need to just make this fucking fight happen because what's going to happen is one of them are going to lose and then it's going to fuck it up. And look what happened. That fight is fucked up now. That fight is fucked up. It's not going to ever be the same again because they wanted to harbor it. They wanted to wait. No, let's wait. Let's put it off. Let's put it off. Let's build it. It didn't need to be built. We already knew what both guys could do and we wanted to see them fight. But you guys sat around and waited until one of them lost and fucked it up. You know, and there were some boxing fans who say, oh, well, it should be put off to a different time. But look what happened, man. It's fucked up now. It's fucked up. That's another thing we do. We need to stop doing that shit. We need to put motherfuckers together when they're young and they're coming up. It doesn't matter. We focus too much on losses. We make a big deal about losses in boxing. You look at the UFC, the best guys are fighting each other. And as a result, you know, they got losses. But they're able to put on pay-per-views every month that people buy. And look at us. We can only put on two to three major pay-per-views a year. That's it. That's really it. We only have two fucking stars in boxing that are household names. And that's because we fix fights. We give gift decisions out, and we don't know who's the best. We're trying to maneuver somebody and make them the best instead of actually just letting them go in the ring and prove that they're the best and become popular off of their talent alone. They want to have a formula. Okay, we're going to put him with this guy because we know he can beat him, and they just keep doing it. And that's cool at the beginning. At the beginning stages, you know, when they're developing their careers, that's cool. But once you get to the top, it's go time. Stop pity patting around. You know, I'm just tired of the pity patting and just waiting and harboring a fight and then fucking it up because somebody lost. We need to switch out guys like Larry Merchant. We need to get rid of fucking Bob Arum's greedy ass. I can't stand him. Um, Oscar De La Hoya, he's still young. He's still got time to do a lot of good things for boxing. Uh, he hasn't impressed me at all so far. 
Uh, I remember he was talking shit a couple of years back about how he was going to change the face of boxing. He was going to put it on free TV and a bunch of shit. And I haven't seen him do any of that yet. Maybe if he can stop wearing thongs and fishnets, maybe he can focus on doing that. It would be good to see somebody change some shit. Just making fights happen and, and stop waiting. We don't need to build somebody. Let them build themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like like I said, it's cool to give them guaranteed wins early on in their career. There's nothing wrong with that. But when do you say when? How long do you keep the shit going? Why do you have to give Paul Williams a decision? If he didn't win the fight, give the guy who deserved to win the W in his column. You know, you look at Katelnik and um, Matisse. I can see why Katelnik don't want to come back here and fight again. Matisse was undefeated and got two robberies in a row. He had two robberies in a row happen to him. Now, nobody's going to want to fight him now because he's got two losses. And he's too much of a risk to fight because he, he's good. He'll probably whip the ass, so they're going to avoid him now. So his career is pretty much a wrap. He just his shot at the big times is out the window. And I feel bad for him, man. I feel bad for the motherfuckers who have to go through that shit. You know, we've gave we've given um Berto decisions. We gave Paul Williams two decisions. We robbed Sergio Martinez more than enough times, stripped him of his title. Just a bunch of crazy shit. I mean, we're sitting here, we're trying to build Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., and he don't even want to fight anybody serious. It's time for him to go. I mean, I've been waiting on him forever, man. It's time for him to get out of here and prove something because he's not showing me nothing. He's not showing me nothing. I'm not impressed with uh, with Chavez Jr. But the video is not about that. But I'm just saying that we need to fix some shit in boxing. We need to promote this shit better. We need to stop um, waiting too long for matches. I know I've said that a few times, but that's the main thing that really irritates me. And we need to stop giving out these gift decisions. We need to stop doing that shit, man. And paying motherfuckers to lay down. This is boxing, man. And they're trying to turn this shit into sports entertainment. Like the WWE. That's basically what boxing is becoming. It's becoming... Some WWE sports entertainment shit where you know it, it ain't really real. I'm not saying that wrestling is not real. These motherfuckers go in there and they get hurt. I've heard about all their injuries and shit like that. But you know what I mean. It's, it's, it's set up. You know, they know who's going to win and all of that shit before they go in there. It's entertainment. That's what they tell you. And that's what boxing is becoming. They're just putting shits together just to make money because they're playing on the fans. Like my boy Poole Counter said, they're playing on the fans. Um, everybody knows that Marquez has a huge following in Mexico. So Mexico is going to support him. And everybody knows that Pacquiao has a big following in the Philippines. So, of course, it's going to make money. Even if the fight, even if we know... The people who've been following this shit from the beginning, even if we know the whole story behind it, it's still going to make money and they don't care. And that's the problem. Why didn't this? Why didn't that fight happen a long time ago? You know, I've never seen rematches happen so far apart. It just, you know, just things like that. So you guys let me know. What do you guys think that we could do to make the sport better? Do we need to switch out some people and get some people who know what they're doing as far as marketing and matchmaking and, and getting some some tournaments going and shit like that? What do you think that we need to do to get the ball rolling with boxing again? Because if we're not careful, man, the MMA shit, man, can take over. Um, the next generation, they're watching that shit, and they're going to be fans of that. You know, we've been fans before that shit really became popular, MMA, so that's why, for me, it's still boxing first, but the next generation, they may not feel like that, so leave your comments, peace.